Morning everyone, welcome to the allotment. Got the young fella again, because he's not a steel erector, what I said last time, he's a fabricator. Now, remember I was putting this, this actual bench, this bench, this kind of net and frame up, and it was only a little bit out. And I could kind of drag it, you know what I mean, and just keep it, but you know what I'm like for aesthetically pleasing, and Dan Steinmower, because over the side that isolation period, he's got to earn his keep. Being a fabricator, we're going to cut, or Dan's going to cut, a little bit off that. Now I know when we put the net on, <laughs> it might look a bit saggy and baggy, but that's what we're intending to do. Isn't that right, Daniel? Yeah, right, let's get some measurements. That's exact there where I want it that side, Dan. So what, how, how much? 280. See, that is quite a, a bit. So is that what we're going to cut off? 280 yeah, there. And I think we've just decided to do it on what you could kind of half it and make it, but it would have been black and that. It's all just, and to be honest, it's only just going to do cabbages, you know what I mean? So it's not, anything spectacular so start shaking the bits lad dan you're on camera are you sure those measurements are right did you say 280 now right i don't want you botching it up mind no pressure hey <laughs> oh yeah jeez i'll hold it for you so the intention today as well is to get some of these cabbages in which are I can't remember what they were called. Advantage, F1 Advantage. Get some of them in. And I might as well, if you just excuse me, they're bouncing around with the camera. I might as well put just a little bit of leaf mould down. Just because I'm, I am trying to be like a naughty garden, would you believe? And like I say, this kind of restoration, this project to kind of upgrade it, there's been a lot of digging involved. So that's not the original kind of no dig, you know, I've, I've churned it all over, so there's probably seeds coming up there. So I just want to put something on as a mulch, just to dampen them seeds down if this do start to germinate. Because ideally what I want to do is just fix them, this bars to this wood, just with a little screw and like a little kind of P, P bracket. So that means I'll not be able to kind of get in much, you know, without coming up with a screwdriver or taking it all a bit. So that's the idea. And I just want to give it a nice good motion. Look at that, good stuff. Full of worms as well. There you go, look at that. Fantastic. That's worked out a damn sight better than what I thought, to be honest, the way you were butchering that first cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that netting, 
And actually, these things are, I don't know if you can see that little clip there, just kind of holds the netting in place. But that's great there now. I'm not going to, because I'm, obviously I'm going to put my cabbages in, but apparently the daughter's shouting for you under the cosh, so you've got a, you got, <laughs> oh, she's got a, a short leash on you, lad. Right, take care then, Dan. Thank you very much. So there you go. I'm, I'm chuffed a bit with that, to be honest. Like you say, Hanex. So what I'm going to do now is plant the cabbage. I'm going to leave them daffodils, you know what I mean? And um, we'll see how, you know, because they were on, I plant them when the garden was a different shape and different style. But get the cabbages in and get that mulch on the top. And then hopefully that's it. And those cabbages will last. <laughs> I'm not going to screw it down yet. Just we'll wait and see. I'm going to, you know, hopefully it might just kind of lie there, but if not, I'll come up with the, the screwdriver, the drill, and put them in. Okay, I think I need to talk over this a little bit. That noise you hear in there is me filling the watering can on the path outside the allotment. It does sound a little bit strange. But if you look now at this moment, you'll notice the this frame is going to blow away. And that's due to the, it's acting like a sail. So it just, there she goes. So it blows away. Look at where it's bloody ended up. The wind, and it's not even a, like a, a steady, you know, it's not a kind of hard wind at all, to be honest, but I might have to fix that down quicker than what I thought. I'm probably going to try and get 12 in, I think. I'm going to try some of these. I don't know if they're any good or not, but I'm going to try some of these collars. I normally get more so, not with cabbages, the cabbage root fly, more the, the calabrese or the broccoli seems to fall over with it. So anything to try and stop it. It'll work. So I've covered it with that leaf mould there now. So hopefully give them a good water. Hopefully that's it, but I'm gonna have to just stake it in. There we go then, all done. Hopefully I'll not need to kind of go in there that often with that mulch on, that'll keep everything suppressed down. And I can just forget about it. I will come up, like I say, this is obviously acting like as a, a sail now and catching all the wind. So I will come up and fix that permanently or as semi-permanent as I can. So there you go. Job well done, big thank you to Dan. And what's next? Lots, so much to do. Look after yourselves, take good care.